straight out to Thelma Gutierrez, CNN correspondent, joining us. What happened, Thelma? Well, you know, Nancy, what's really interesting about this is that uh, police were able to uncover this very elaborate plan based on a text message, Nancy, that allegedly one of the 16-year-old plotters had sent to a 16-year-old sophomore at the school. Now, the Roy Police Department there in Utah sent us a redacted probable cause statement, Nancy, and I think that the text message really tells you what they were planting. They were saying, if I tell you not to go to school one day, make damn sure you and your brother are not there. The student also texted, I get the feeling you know what I'm planning. It's not all me either. Dallin is in on it. He wants revenge on the world too. We both want to, and we have a plan to get away with it too. Joining us right now out of Roy, Utah, Chief Greg Winham, Roy Police Department, investigating the bomb plot. Chief, thank you so much for being with, with us tonight. I, I guess that when the police first heard this, it was a little hard to take in that a high school sophomore and senior planning to blow up the building with all the students in it, Chief. Well, as the information came to us, uh, we had a chance to assess what the initial messages were and realized that we had good control of both of the suspects in a very short period of time. What was their plan to your understanding, Chief? Well, the, the plan was to, 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 they had a couple actually. The, one was to, to actually leave a device inside of an auditorium where a large gathering would be for an assembly. Uh, and, and based on the, the, that plan being successful, they were going to escape, go to a, a nearby airport, uh, steal a plane and fly it out to, uh, as they indicated, to a country that wouldn't uh, send them back to the United States. Well, as a matter of fact, it's not that far-fetched because one of these students, the 16-year-old, out to Frank DeAngelis, the principal of Columbine High School, actually got a visit from the 16-year-old bombing suspect. This 16-year-old actually flies to Columbine. He's so obsessed with the Columbine massacre that he flies to Columbine to meet in person, in person with the principal. Mr. DeAngelis, thank you for being with us. Oh, thank you. Mr. DeAngelis, when you first met the 16-year-old, what did he tell you as to why he was talking to you about the Columbine incident? Um, he was doing a re uh, report for a school newspaper, and he wanted to talk to me about how Columbine healed, uh, you know, how were we able to overcome uh, the tragedy that occurred, programs. You know, he asked, what, it, uh, what are we doing for the students at Columbine? And I explained to him since the tragedy, you know, we have programs in place called the Lynx Program, which is, very similar to a big brother, big sister program where our upperclassmen uh, get together with freshman students to help that transi transition from middle school to high school. Uh, he said, what advice did you give to the kids uh, over the years? You know, and I talked about acceptance, tolerance, valuing life, things of that nature. Uh, the questions that he asked me were very similar to questions that uh, students that are on our newspaper staff would ask me.